and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is our last uh, vlog of the New York and Florida series which is really sad but we have absolutely loved doing it. I've loved watching them back, it's been so much fun. So we thought, well I, Tom's not here, he couldn't be here today so I'm riding solo. Um, so I thought we would end the series with a haul. Um, we've back, been back from Florida now a couple of weeks. Terrible for us, I know we should have done it earlier, but we actually had a holiday a few days after we returned back from Florida, so it was all a bit of a rush to do everything. So we've been back a couple of weeks, so I thought now I've got time, I can sit down with you guys and show you all the bits and pieces that we got. Okay, so. I'm probably going to start off with the New York stuff because we didn't get a huge amount in New York. Um, we did buy a few bits from Nike and stuff but I'm not going to show you that because it was only a black jumper. If you saw our vlogs you'll know it was freezing cold so we needed extra layers. <laughs> so it was only a black jumper so it was nothing interesting really. But So I thought I would show you what we got. So I'm going to start off with this hat. It's a Brooklyn hat if you can see that. I got that on our first day or our second day on Brooklyn Bridge which is really cute. Can't remember how much it was because I it was just a little stall on the bridge so obviously you don't get a receipt or anything so can't remember how much it was but yeah mega cute. Nice little memento. Um, and we also got um, a panoramic framing poster and we got this, it's of New York City and we got this when we did the sunset viewing at Empire State. We got this in the gift shop on the way back, on the way down. I didn't keep the receipt, I'm really sorry, so I don't know how much it costs or did cost us. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry. But I'll show you to excuse me I'm sitting on the floor um so if you can see I don't know if you'll be able to see that so it's like a skyline of New York it's really nice we saw it and um I said to Tom oh that's really nice I'd really like to get that and we can put it up somewhere in our lounge or something or our bedroom just to remind us of New York because it was really fun um and it's black and white which is really nice and of a night time of New York so yeah we really like that so that's purchase number two and then we kept our souvenir mug of the butter beer from the harry potter store you'll see guys there's lots of things that i pick up during the vlogs if you've watched them and said oh i like that i like that i don't get a lot of it i'm just a shopaholic basically and tom has to rein me in i would buy everything if i could so tom has to rein me in so don't be disappointed if there's a lot of things that you see that I pick up and I'm like, oh, I might get that. A lot of it I don't get because I need to be reined in at some point. But yeah, we got a, Tom got a butterbeer, so we kept the souvenir cup. We've got some from London when we did Harry Potter Studios in London and now we've got one from New York, which is pretty cool. Um, and it tastes the same. Delicious. Who doesn't love butterbeer? Um, and we also went into Bath and Body Works whilst we were there standard um some of the products i have already been using so they if they are they've got a little bit less in them it's just because i've used them so tom got a um body cream the ocean body cream it smells really nice it's really nice yeah i like that oh, i've got it on my lip again what is wrong with me um so that is lovely he did get a body spray as well that I, I think he must be using it because I haven't got it with me, but that's all right. And then I got um, this, um, it's like a fragrance mist. Um, it's a thousand wishes, I think. Yeah, thousand wishes. It's like a fragrant mist, like a body spray. Oh, it smells so nice. I just spray it all over my clothes and it's like a nice alternative to like a perfume. If you don't want to wear like a heavy perfume, I really like this. I used this a lot in Florida actually. Bought it, yeah, bought it in New York and I used it a lot when we were in Florida. And it's, yeah, nice. And then I got this shower gel, um, Gingham Fresh. It's aloe vitamin and vitamin E. See that? Smells nice. I love it. Oh, it's really, really, really fresh. It smells almost a bit apple-y. And then I got this Pure Wonder um, shower gel. 
and I have used some of that because oh that's the best it's delicious I wish I'd have got two um I used that when we were in New York because I had an allergic reaction to the soap in the hotel which is ideal so I switched over to the shower gel and I was absolutely fine and then with the shower gel I got the uh same um body moisturizer the pure wonder and that is it's really strong and it smells so nice it's lovely i love bath and body works again guys sorry didn't keep the receipt i can't tell you how much it was i can't remember um but you get loads of deals in bath and body works so it's always worth a visit and the last thing we got in new york because we didn't get a lot was a um mug from starbucks it's a been there series i really like these so actually i've got one here from animal kingdom the 50th anniversary been there series i got that in october last year 2022 when we went to florida and i've actually got a cup of tea thought i'd make one because i'm probably going to be here a while um i yeah brought this in florida from An animal kingdom and i really wish i'd have got one from every park but i didn't um and they're the 50th anniversary one and I well Animal Kingdom is my favourite park so I thought I'll buy one there and you know what it's like you come back and you think oh I wish I'd have got all of them but it's fine we've got Animal Kingdom and I can't actually physically get any more mugs in my cupboard <laughs> I have a mug obsession I love it. all mugs I'm so weird um so I'll show you that have a little sip of my tea um so we got this in, I can't remember which Starbucks in New York, no idea. But you'll see, like if I show you, it's got the bus on it, Queens, Empire State, like bagels, Manhattan, Cheesecake, Brooklyn, Statue of Liberty. pizza taxi apple beautiful it says new york city on it too so yeah that's lovely i really wanted to get a bin there series um from new york and i saw this in one of the starbucks obviously we frequent starbucks quite a lot as you well know <laughs> um so i brought this uh i saw it in one of the starbucks and i was like no i'll leave it there'll be loads and we didn't see one for a few days and I was like oh no I've really missed the boat here but found it in a random Starbucks can't remember which one but yes got that and I absolutely love it I've banned Tom from using it until I've done this so he'll be pleased because he'll be able to to use it now we will share it because we only got one <laughs> so that's what we got from New York not really a lot there was a lot that I could have got like mementos and there was things at the edge that I wanted to get um, but to be perfectly honest with you, the price was just the price point was just a bit too much uh, to justify. And we were going to Florida, and obviously the Disney stuff. You can't. You, I was I was saving my money for that. Um, so moving on to what we got in Florida, because this is what you're all waiting for, all the Disney merch. Um, I don't know where to start. We got Rosie, our dog, a few bits as well, which is really sweet. Um, I'll show you though. She doesn't actually know she's got them yet, so she's laying right here next to me. So um, once she hears a rustle, she might um, pop her head up. She might want her toys, but we'll see. And her treats, but we'll see. She's actually asleep at the moment. <laughs> Makes a change. So I'll start off with um, what we got in World of Disney. Um, so you will have seen this already, it's a bit squashed where it's been packed, poor thing, poor girl you're a bit squashed, um, you will have seen this already in my vlogs because I couldn't wait, I had to wear it, matches my ears, um, just a lounge fly, just a Minnie Mouse lounge fly, it's really cute um, and it says Minnie Mouse on the back, it's really sweet, I really like it and I've got my Steamboat Willie lounge fly as well so I wanted a black one as, to go with these ears. Um, and yeah, I love that. So that price, I kept the receipt. So the lounge fly was $88. Um, and then we got, Tom got this t-shirt. Oh, it's inside out. That's not very good, is it? 
amateur. Could have put it in the right way. Dear Jess. He has already worn this, so you will have seen it. And then Tom got this um, Mickey Mouse t-shirt. He has already worn it, so it's a little bit creased. You can see it's got Mickey on it. Really sweet. Um, and it's a really nice colour, actually. And on the back, it says Mickey and Friends Genuine Mouse Wear. <laughs> And I'll show you if you can see genuine mouse wear how funny um, so yeah he got that which is nice and that was 29 sorry guys 29.99 that was I think it's a bit hard to work out the prices on the receipts but I think it was 29.99 correct me if I'm wrong Put it in the comments if you're like Jess, you've actually got that extremely wrong. So that's that. I got some princesses that you will have seen in the vlog. I wore them already because I can't wait. But yeah, so cute. And again, they were $34.99, which is, yeah, I like them. And then you will have seen in New York, we went into the Disney shop. And there was a really nice white jumper that Tom wanted to get. But he didn't, because obviously we were going to Florida and he wanted to wait and see what he got. But we got to World of Disney and he couldn't resist. So he got it. As you will see in our vlogs, he got the white Walt Disney World t-shirt. And it's um jumper, sorry. And it's really nice. He hasn't worn it yet. Um, but yeah, really nice. Got that in a medium. And the price point of that, $54.99, not too bad. And then I got a grey t-shirt. Um, and you'll see it's got all the characters on it. And it says Walt Disney World, if you can see that, sorry. But yeah, it's really sweet. I loved it. As soon as I saw it, um, I wanted it, like everything. Um, and that cost $34.99. No, $39.99, sorry. $39. Oh, actually, I wonder if that's $29.99 and the other t-shirt was $39.99. That would make more sense. Then we got... Some mugs so you've got Daisy on one side and then you've got Minnie how cute is that and then Tom we got matching because we love matching and Tom got one and you've got Donald and then you've got Mickey how cute and they're really like large cups you're gonna get a lot of coffee in there and that my friends is good so yes they were 16.99 each which not too bad all the mugs are about the same price point um so all in all in world of disney we spent so it was 281.94 without tax and with tax was $300.27. So yeah, pricey. But nice, nice to treat yourself, isn't it? So that's that. Next, I'm gonna have a sip of my tea. Next we got, um, I'm gonna carry on with the clothes because me and Tom got matching hoodies. You're all probably watching this thinking you're saddos, but there's a story behind it, which you will have seen if you watched our vlogs. So, um, Tom got this hoodie, which is the same as his t-shirt. So it's the same as his t-shirt, same uh, Mickey on it. So basically there's a story. I wanted this pink one, um, which is, really sweet which is the same just different colors but it's lovely um so we were in animal kingdom in um where were we 
Discovery, Discovery Trading Company, which is in Animal Kingdom, and I wanted the pink jumper, but they didn't have it in my size, because I like to, I like oversize, I like to size up, but they didn't have it in my size, so I brought it in the beige to match Tom's t-shirt, but then we went back to Disney Springs, I think it was on our last day, it might have been, we went back to Disney Springs, and I went into um, World of Disney, and I, they had the pink one in my size, so I brought the pink one and then the beige one is going to be Tom. So we've got matching, cute, um, but his is going to be beige, mine's going to be pink. But they're, they're really nice. And they're really thick, like really good quality. And the price point of those, uh, they're both exactly the same price, $69.99 um, plus tax $74.54. So yeah, but they're really, really good quality, really thick. Moving on. What other Disney merch did we get? Ah, this. I forgot about this. We got this um, from the uh, Christmas shop in, I think it was Disney Springs, the Christmas shop. So it's like a little ornament, which is really sweet. I love a Disney ornament. I go in there all the time. So if I put it up against that, you can see it. And these bits spin, which is nice. And that was uh, 22.99, but I didn't keep the receipt, so I'm not sure what it is, including tax. But yeah, 29, 22.99, so 23 dollars basically. But yeah, that's really nice, really heavy too, like good quality, I think. Okay, and I also got some jewellery. Tom really didn't get much more. It's all, <laughs> it's all mine, hence why he's not here because. <laughs> There's no point, because most of it's mine. Shopaholic Jess. Um, so, I got some really cute Minnie Mouse head band earrings. You can see those without focus. Yeah, so I got those Minnie Mouse head band earrings, which are really sweet. I can't remember where I got these from. But they were... 21 29 including tax so yeah really sweet i can't wait to wear those for my on our next trip and i also got a um really sweet uh ring to go with the i didn't buy them from the same place i don't think i think i can't remember where i got the ring from but i didn't buy them from the same place but i got this uh ring to go with the earrings really sweet can you see the little mickeys they're so sweet and the price point of that was 24.99 26.61 in including tax but yeah really sweet i can't wait to wear that got it stuck so that is that and i also got a pop what is it called a pop socket i think for your phone, for the back of your phone, and it's a mini, mini mouse shaped one. And I got this from Calypso Trading. I'm just going to double check. Calypso Trading. When we had Sebastian Bistro's um, reservation in Caribbean Beach, we went into the gift shop and I got this little pop socket for my phone. So you pull it out like that, you stick that to the back of your phone, and then you can like hold it, if that makes sense. Where's my phone? I haven't actually stuck it on the back yet so you stick it that way oops wherever you want I suppose and then you can hold it so it's like that if that makes sense yeah really cute really sparkly too I'm very pleased with that I've wanted one of those for ages so yeah that's exciting okay right we've done that and we also got some artwork from I think it was the Disney in Disney Springs we got some artwork sorry my phone's ringing oh stop now um so I'll show you these these are really really nice so on the back of them it is um it's who painted it so if I show you the front they're both by different sketches <coughs> paint sketches but they are they look really similar and they're both really really 
nice. So where it was, let me get the receipt up. Art of Disney in Disney Springs, that's it, yeah. So it was Art of Disney in Disney Springs. And they actually have the, the I don't think our sketches, the, the sketches of our paintings or pictures were there at that time, but they have people doing live sketches and you can set, and the ones that they've sketched, you can search through. It's really, really cool. I love it in there. Um, so we got a sketched Mickey. Can you see him? How cute is he? He is lovely and that's by Caitlin Carla Cini um, and it has like on the back of it that's her name I've probably pronounced it terribly wrong but on the back of it it has a little write up about her which is nice um, and it's yeah I really really like them like we might put those up in the lounge or somewhere we're not sure yet and we obviously so that's Mickey we can't get one and not get Minnie so Minnie is here. How sweet is that? And that's by Monica Willis. So they're two different sketches, but actually the pictures look really similar. Um, and I just really like them. I thought they were really, really nice. Um, and then on the back of that one, it's got a write up about Monica Willis, um, which is nice. But yeah, I love it in there. It's really, really nice. Um, pricey. And that cost us, so the sketches were $49 each, um, but with tax it was 10437 but yeah, it's nice, it's nice to have a little keepsake, like a memento of, of your holiday, I think, and it's nice to have something that you can keep, um, we're slowly turning our house into a Disney shrine, <laughs> you got the castle behind us? The Disney Lego castle that I built all by myself. I think it was like 4,000 pieces. But yeah, we're slowly turning our house into a Disney shrine. So, following on from that, we also, if you know, you know, in Star Wars, you get these bottles of Coke. We got a Coke and we wanted to keep the bottle. Whether that's weird or not, I'm not sure. But Tom wants it in his office. So I, it's, it's been washed and stuff. I've washed it out. Um, but yeah, that's for Tom to keep in his office, which is nice. I think it's really cool. Don't ask me how much it was. I can't remember. So, yes, we got this in Hollywood Studios. Um, and then stuff that we got from the outlets. Um, admittedly, we didn't buy a huge amount from the outlets. There isn't a huge amount to show you, but I thought I would include it anyway because it's nice to see what we did get. Um, we didn't get a lot. Tom's stuff hasn't made it because he brought underwear in Calvin Klein. Obviously, I'm not going to show you that. And he brought a hat or a couple of hats in Nike, which he's already started wearing and I couldn't find them and couldn't pin him down to which one he brought. So I thought I'd just leave it. Um, but I'll show you what I got if you are interested. Some people like the outlet thing, some people don't. But I thought I'll include it anyway. Um, and yeah. So in Calvin Klein, I got these little um, shorts. Sorry, covering up my face. And they've got Calvin Klein written on the side, if you can see that. Um, just little cycling shorts. You will know by now that I'm a shorts and oversized t-shirt kind of gal. That's all I really wear when I'm away in the heat. Um, shorts and oversized tees, so I thought I'd get them. They'll be good for next time we go to Florida um, or, you know, if we go any other holidays. So I thought I'll get them. And then I got a matching um, top and bottom set. You'll also know that me and Tom live in gym wear. That's all we wear. Pretty boring. But I got a Calvin Klein bra. It's just black and it's got Calvin Klein written on the bottom. Um, and I tried those on and they, it was really, really comfy. And then I got the trousers to match. Which again, just have Calvin Klein around the waistband. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, but yeah, really comfy. Just black, plain. Um, and the poor shop assistant went searching for miles to get my size. <laughs> but she knows she was really helpful. And we got a lot of discount off that. So usually if they ask you to sign up to um, their emails and their offers and stuff, if you put your email address in, they'll give you an extra 20% off of already the discounted stuff. So that's what we did. And we got an extra 20% off. Um, We spent in there 128.82, but we did get a good 
discount. Um, I think Tom bought a couple of pair, couple of boxes of um, underwear. So that they're always expensive, aren't they? So that was good. And then I got my three bits. So yeah, good. We've got twenty percent off as well, which is good. And I think so. We got we got twenty percent off, and we also got uh, twenty dollars off the markdown price as well. So it's, it's, it is worth going in there. And then we got a couple of bits from Nike. Again, Tom got his hats, but they didn't make it to the didn't make it to the uh, haul of vlog. Um, I just got a couple of pairs of socks, some Nike socks. They've got Nike written on them. Quite nice. Um, plain white white pair and a black pair and then I got not everyone's cup of tea but who doesn't love a little bit of leopard print this leopard print jumper Nike I sized up because we all know by now and I love oversized stuff so I sized up and that in Nike in total so yeah Tom got two caps Socks and a jumper was oh where's the price? Sorry guys. Eighty seven twenty six including tax. So yeah, I have to say I don't think the outlets are as good as what they used to be. We used to go. We went a few times years and years ago, like ten years ago, and the the things you'd come out of Nike with were you know amazing. But I don't think the the prices are quite as good. Um, I didn't buy them because of the knockdown price. I just bought them because I liked them. So, yeah, just bear that in mind, especially with the exchange rate now. I think perhaps you're not getting quite as good as a deal, which is a shame. But it is what it is, you know. It, it's nice to go to the outlets. It's nice to have a look around as well because they do have some good deals. Um, and they have an Auntie Anne's there. So, that's the only reason I went, really. And for a bit of shopping no one says no to that do they as soon as tom says outlets my little ears prick up i'm like yes i'm there <laughs> shopping and jess <laughs> yes please um so i'm going to move on to the bits that we got for rosie we didn't bring that much um food it like snacks back in in the way of snacks um we'd had a two-week holiday i'd eaten more than enough um <laughs> didn't need to bring it back with me so i did bring we did bring back some m&ms unfortunately they've been eaten and we did bring, I brought back some uh, popcorn from Caramel Couche in Epcot. If you know about Caramel Couche, chef's kiss. So the one thing I did want to show you that I brought back, because the snacks didn't make it because I've eaten them, is the French vanilla coffee mate. So if you watched our vlogs, you will know that I am obsessed with the French vanilla creamer that you put in your coffees over there. Best thing ever we did buy the creamer when we were there so i was having that in my coffee in the resort um every day delicious but i didn't want to bring back a whole thing of the refrigerated creamer i just didn't know how i'd get it back really and transport it back i didn't want it leaking on our clothes um or exploding or anything like that so i brought back the powdered version of it which guys is really nice really really nice not as good as the creamer uh the creamer is just a lot better because it's creamier if that makes sense um but went for the sugar-free option health uh and we did get the sugar-free one in orlando as well but yeah the uh, creamer that i left in the laundry room for other people to have if they shall wish but yeah top tier love it and i also brought back um some of these squeezy juices um how's when you can see that yeah so i brought this one back strawberry and watermelon I haven't opened this yet but i enjoy these in my waters in in the uk when i'm at home and also when i'm in the parks i use these just for a bit of flavor like i'll drink water but sometimes they taste a bit I feel like the iced water sometimes tastes a bit odd so I will sometimes squirt some of this in and it's easy because you just carry it around it's only small around the parks and I have also got this one as well I've used most of this this was a peach flavor one exactly the sam same branding it just hasn't got the label on it because I've used quite a lot of it I was using it while we were over there but I really enjoy these um, and I always go for the sugar-free 
zero calories um, and they taste really really nice the peach one and the strawberry and watermelon I haven't tried this one before but I thought I'd give it a go because I love watermelon so yes so moving on to what we got Rosie or whiskers as she's known as yes you you can't see her but are we talking about you sweetheart we are so sorry digress talking to my dog um so we always bring Rosie home treats wherever we go where it doesn't matter where we go we'll always bring her something back um so oh this actually I'll show you this first we got this from a little um it's like a little pop-up thing in Disney Springs um it's always there but it's like a little hut almost um and we got this fridge magnet we've got a Rottweiler so yeah we got this sad I know but couldn't resist it really sweet and that was 7 99 so that's going on our fridge cute so for the dog Rosie Whiskers as she's known we got her so we went to Wolfgang Bakery. I've actually got the bag still. Um, you will have seen our vlog. Um, but we didn't actually show you at the time what we got for the dog. So we went to Wolfgang Bakery in celebration. We've always wanted to go there. And we've never been. And I always said to Tom, when we go to celebration, I want to go and get Rosie something from the bakery. So we did. So she might inter interrupt this once she knows this is for her. <laughs> Doing it on the sly. But she's eyeing me up move these in case she does want to get up and she doesn't knock them over like a bulldozer sorry guys um we got her a little rainbow toy oh <laughs> here she comes <laughs> hello this is for you yeah i know is that for you is that a rainbow toy would you like it now would you like it now there you go. So yeah, we got this little rainbow toy from Wolfgang Bakery, which is really sweet. She knows it's for her, so here you go. There you go. Good girl. You take it to your bed. Good girl. Oh, she wants to go outside with it. She loves taking her toys outside in the garden. Sorry, she's playing with it now. Anyway, and also from the same little hut that I that we got our fridge magnet from. If you saw, there was a toy there and it, it absolutely tickled me. And we didn't buy it, but on our last day, we went back and I bought her the Chewy Vuitton. The Chewy Vuitton Paris. How funny is that? It just, uh, it's a little bag. Like, that is just hilarious. That's the best thing ever. Um, and, well, it was a bit pricey. It was 19 99 twenty dollars for that little thing it's like a little i mean it's a bit small for you isn't it hey um but yeah we got her the chewy vuitton i couldn't resist and then we got her a few little treats from the uh wolfgang bakery which was sweet we got her a mini mouse cookie and they're all um for dogs like they're all um i don't know what they're baked with but they're all safe for dogs because i was looking at the ingredients just to double check but yeah all safe for dogs so yeah got her a little mini mouse ear face and then we got her two other things we got her a little bone if you can see that that says florida and i don't know if you can see behind but it's like a little donut so we got her a donut as well so she can enjoy those um but she'll she'll love those oh is it for you are these for you would you like them now <laughs> star of the show rosie look what's that say hello <laughs> you can have them in a minute yeah no can you smell them do you want one now yeah okay let's give you one now you sit sit Oh, I'm gonna have this. Hang on, wait. Oh, it smells really nice. <laughs> Look, it says Florida on it. Cute. All right, do you want it now? Stand. Good girl. Ah, ah. Back it up. <laughs> Back it up. Good girl. Here you go. 
take it to your bed she's gone to her bed in her kitchen in, in her kitchen in the kitchen it's not her kitchen um so yes that concludes our new york slash disney haul um and i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you enjoyed watching our vlogs and following along on our trip we really enjoyed vlogging i it was to it was tom's idea and i wasn't sure if i was fully going to enjoy it or if i would feel comfortable um especially in new york with the camera and stuff but once you get into it it's absolutely fine um and i actually really enjoyed it so yeah but that's going to be it for our uh new york and florida series i hope you enjoyed it we have got a few more trips planned this year so we're planning to vlog them which is fun we are also going back to orlando and florida in um november so we're going to vlog that as well so keep subscribed uh like this video and like the channel and subscribe to us because it does help and we're new to it but we've really enjoyed it so we'll see you for the next series bye